Hey, what's going on guys? John Shea here, and today I'm actually gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a review of Home Chef, which is actually a meal prep company. You can order basically home-cooked meals from, and uh, you know, you get all the ingredients. This is something that you cook up yourself, and more or less it's very affordable, and this was something I wanted to do on my channel, mostly because for me, as someone that works from home, and really has limited time, and as someone particularly just isn't really a great cook, uh, I wanted something that was convenient that would save me time when it comes to dinner at night. You know, after working a long day, working on um, all the projects and things that I'm working on as an entrepreneur, I wanted to figure out, you know, hey, how can I make dinner time easier in my life, right? So I've been actually using this meal kit delivery service and I've used quite a few others. So today I wanted to do kind of an unboxing video and give you guys a review of the Home Chef products and kind of go through this, right? So let me flip the camera and we're actually gonna go through the unboxing process. Here's basically what just got delivered to me today. One of the first things I'll say about this company and comparatively to some other companies that I've tried, I'll kind of get into that as we go. We might have a cat hanging out with us here for the unboxing. Basically, one of the biggest things that they've been really good about is delivery times. You know, every time I get um, an order, it comes exactly on Tuesday and I've never had a problem, right? It could be kind of an offset thing. If you order from one of these companies and they end up delivering your food like on a Wednesday when they said it was going to be there on a Monday, right? Or on a Tuesday and it comes on a Wednesday instead. There's nothing worse if you don't have other plans or something prepared for dinner or you end up having to go order takeout because the del delivery service didn't have the package show up when it was supposed to. All right, so we're gonna have to get Merlin off the box here. This is our newest addition to the home. He's a cutie. Believe it or not, I found this little guy in our garage. Long story, but I'll put him on the floor and he'll get to play with the box after we unpack. Basically, every every kit that they send, they've, um, they didn't initially do this, but they've been including um, some extra like deals, like these are basically discount coupons. I believe you start getting these probably about three or four weeks after being subscribed to Home Chef. And it's kind of a cool little perk. I haven't seen a lot of the other companies do. But you can see right on the top, I have all um, of these meal kit, basically instructions. It shows a full image, um, what's inside the box for the uh, all the ingredients. So these are all the things that we've got. And then they've got some custom customization options that I could have picked during the order process. We have a description of uh, nutritional ingredients and everything that's in this, what the actual dish is called, how long it's gonna take to prep and cook it, um, how much time you need to cook the dish within, the difficulty level, so this one's gonna be intermediate, and the spice level. So pretty informative, and if we flip this onto the back, I'll just take this here and put it down so it's a little bit easier to see. We basically have instructions on how to make this. So it says, hey, this is these are the things you're gonna need that you might not have, which in this case would be like olive oil, salt, pepper, you know, basic stuff, a cooking pan, medium pot, things like that. Before we cook, obviously it's gonna tell us what we're gonna do, and then literally it's all step by step. So they have photos, we're gonna be cooking rice, and then moving into this as we kind of progress, it'll have us prepare ingredients, you know, go through and this has us cooking carrots, and then actually cooking the steak, and then basically finishing the dish and adding everything together. So it's all fairly straightforward, it's very easy to follow as someone uh, as myself who really doesn't have, um, like I'm not someone that's like a, a good cook, right? Like I can't just like take a bunch of ingredients and make something spectacular. And one of the greatest things about them is that they just give you all these recipe cards and everything is very straightforward. So inside the box, I've typically found everything is packed really well. They use these dry ice packets, which are still very, very cold coming out of the box. Um, there is a lot of, I guess you could say somewhat waste because you have all this like styrofoam sort of packaging. There's some cardboard here, but you know, I don't know. I know some people I've seen complain about some of that stuff with these meal kit services. But one of the best things I like about Home Chef is they include all the meals in these separate kits. So I basically don't have, with some of the other services I've used in the past, they literally just throw everything in one box and you just have to like figure out, okay, was this the right ingredient that goes with that meal? And sometimes they'll use like, uh, you know, in one case, I forget which meal service it was, but I had ordered two of the same material and, or like two of the meal kits had like the same type of ingredient in it. And I ended up like using all of them with one meal and didn't have any for the other meal. So that was inconvenient and because of the way they organize things. They put them in these bags. It tells me this is for the uh, lemon butter salmon that I ordered. This basically has everything in this package specifically for this. I've generally found the ingredients to be really fresh. Uh, a lot of times you are prepping where you have to, you know, I, I have like these knives up here. I'll just use like a simple knife um, cutting board, 
cut and prep everything. A lot of times with most of the meals, they'll have you like, I know this salmon one, it's probably gonna have me do it in the oven. I'll preheat the oven, have that ready to go. By the time I'm gonna be putting anything in the oven, I've already got all the prep out of the way. And more or less, it, it's been a really great service. I think, um, so you can see I have these all packed in these nice bags. And that's more or less it. You got one other pack of dry ice and then at the bottom, every time all the meat they actually put into one package. Um, I have had a couple issues where, you know, sometimes you basically, this is double bag. You have one big bag and then within that, like I've got my steaks, there's shrimp with one of the meals and then I believe there's salmon um, underneath that. I have had some instances where stuff like leaks all over everything else, but because it's all sealed in this one big bag, it's not getting, I've never had issues where it's gotten all over like all the other ingredients or any materials. So that's probably the best way that they could go about it and ultimately isn't really too much of an issue. Now, in terms of the actual meals themselves, I did want to show you guys, I have a uh, binder here and this is another really cool thing that they include. They give you this binder and uh, I'm going to move some things out of the way because we don't have any counter space now. Move these guys. Throw my box on the floor here. Move this all out of the way. Let the cat go hang out in the box. He's already going for it. They give you this binder the very first time you order and this is really cool. So all of these, if you actually look here, we'll move our recipe. Of course, now I've gotten it wet from the dry ice, but hey, whatever. They have uh, binder holes. So you can actually take all of your past recipes and pretty much now you have like a book of all your recipes. So you can actually see how many different recipes that I've gotten through all time ordering their different kits. They do have a few other additional options as well. When you're ordering, you can get a couple different lunch options. I would say overall, this is probably one of the best meal services that I've tried in terms of a combination of ease of actually cooking, the quality of the food and the price, as well as like the re you know reliability and everything that they've done in terms of the food. You have a lot of different options, you know, so if you wanna do like fish or meat, chicken, you basically get an email every single week that will say, hey, here's, here's the upcoming order of what we picked for you. You can go in and customize that and they give you a wide range of options of things that you can change out. So what I'm actually gonna do to kind of conclude this, I will bring you guys over to my desktop and I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff on the website. I'll show you like my next week's order. I'll show you some of the pricing options and then I'll actually conclude the video. I'm gonna be making one of these meal kits tonight. I don't know which one I'm gonna pick yet, but when I have this all said and done, maybe I'll shoot a video of me in the middle of it actually being cooked and then I'll do a final video of the actual meal prepared and put on a plate prior to dinner time. So anyway, let's jump over to my desktop and I'll show you some of the options in terms of, you know, food choices on the website and how a lot of the pricing comes into play. All right, so we're over on my desktop and I just wanted to walk you through some of the options in terms of getting signed up with Home Chef. And um, I'm also gonna show you guys how you can actually save a little bit of money on your first order if you decide to sign up with a link that I'm gonna leave below in the description. So pretty much it's really simple. Um, you just sign up on the website, you select what meals you wanna use, and then every uh, every week you're gonna receive that box just like I just showed you guys. And everything's all pre-proportioned and set up and ready to go. You can see that they've got like some examples of people making their food on Instagram, things like that. You get to cook your favorite meals just right off their menu and uh, pretty straightforward. So I'm actually gonna sign in and I'll kind of show you what things look like um, when it comes to actually selecting your meals every week. This is typically what it looks like when you log in. So you're gonna see your main order. So next week I'm gonna be getting the black and blue steakhouse risotto, the brown sugar salmon. And one thing that I really love about Home Chef is they offer these oven ready options. So this actually basically is gonna be shipped with a tin tray that you can put into the oven. They'll have you prep all the ingredients. So it's not like pre-made or anything like that, but more or less the ingredients are all like stuff that you can just throw into this pan. They give you simple instructions that usually take about maybe three to five minutes and you literally just pop it in the oven and you have a ready meal. So this kind of gives me a lazy night, whereas these meals might take a little bit more time and preparation, uh, cutting, things like that. So um, I really love that they've added that oven ready option. They also have a Home Chef Express option, which means that it's just a little bit faster. Um, probably not gonna be as quick as the um, uh, oven ready option, but obviously the oven ready is gonna be the easiest, whereas this is something you could have made and all said and done within a short span of time. So this is one that you can make the meal within 15 minutes. Generally every week they give you a, a pretty good uh, wide range. So they by default will pick three of them for you. They'll send you an email and say, hey, here are the meals for next week. 
But if you want to change them, go in here and configure them prior to this date and the menu will close. So in my case, the menu is going to close on July 12th and I will receive this order on the 16th. So they give you a little bit of time to come in. Like I think I got this email a couple days ago now and it's now the 9th. So I have a few days at minimum now to change this around and make changes to my order if there's something I don't like. In terms of variety, you can see we have two chicken dishes, a pork chop. Um, this is shrimp and grits. We've got a, a taco dinner kit. This is a, another chicken dish, penne, so we've got some pasta. This is flatbreads, bro broccoli, rice, and beef. Another taco dish, uh, roasted beet and goat cheese, risotto. They do have a lunch option. This is a little bit cheaper. Normally, you're going to pay about 10 bucks per serving. But if you go with their, their lunch option, this is something that runs about $7.99, so about $8 if you go with the lunch option. I have not tried any of the lunches yet, but I would imagine they're going to be just as easy, if not um, easier to prepare than some of the dinner options. And then they have a few more lunch options as well, in addition to a smoothie add-on. Um, I have not tried the smoothies, as typically I make a lot of smoothies at my, my own home, and I just do this stuff with my own blender. But that's another cool kind of bonus that I think it was nice that they added. You can also, you know, basically choose to look for premium meals. Sometimes they offer premium meals. I don't think I see any this week, but usually that might be like a steak or something that might cost a little bit more, and it's generally going to be um, just a little bit more money. So I order for three meals a week, as you guys saw, and that covers me and my wife. Um, if you had a bigger family, you can do four servings for any of the meals, and generally that comes out to about 10 bucks uh, for each of these. You also have this cookbook option. You can come in and see all the past recipes of things that you've made. So these are all the things that I've previously gotten from all the prior weeks I've been subscribed. I can sort by different like cook times, spice levels, uh, nutritional values, difficulty, so on and so forth. And they do have the option to set up gift cards if you want to give away, you know, Home Chef to someone else. In addition to that, I do want to let you guys know that I'm going to leave a link below. If you guys are interested in getting $30 off your first order, I'm going to leave a link below in the description. You can actually get 30 bucks off. And if you decide to refer your friends, you can save them $30 and you'll earn a credit towards your future uh, meal plans. So a really cool way to save some money. And obviously, you know, give away um, a copy of, you know, basically get, get people savings when they go to order. So what I'm going to do is actually flip this video back to dinner time. Now that I've kind of got everything in motion cooking, and then I'll do another transition and we'll show the final dish. So let's jump over to that and uh, kind of show you guys the meal in progress. All right, so we're actually in the middle of cooking, so I thought I'd do another section here just to kind of show what's going on with um, one of the dishes. Uh, believe it or not, when I recorded the first two parts of this, I ended up cooking all the meals and I was just not really feeling like doing a video. So this is actually the following week's meals. So this week we have black and blue steakhouse risotto. Um, this is an oven ready meal, with, which is fajita chicken with Mexican rice and crispy jalapenos. So that one looks really good. I haven't had that yet. And we also got brown sugar salmon. So pretty simple dish. But right now we're making the um, steakhouse risotto. So pretty much very simple. I've got a cutting board, a knife. Um, I lay out all the ingredients. So, you know, you got butter. This looks like uh, blue cheese, Parmesan. This is spinach that came in a bag and they had me like coarsely uh, knife it up, you know, slice it all up there. And then we also got, um, these are mushrooms and then onions. So I'm actually gonna be cooking the onions now in a moment. I got the pan heating up in the back for the onions. This is boiling water and that's gonna be for cooking the risotto. So I actually have to turn this off and I will do a final video just showing the final product. All right, so I just finished the meal and I plated everything. Unfortunately, my wife is actually not gonna be home for a little while and I have to leave the house early. So I had to make dinner and I'm gonna have to put this away for her to reheat, which is a little bit of a bummer, but um, overall the meal came out pretty good. It does have like a blue cheese crumble on the top, but I can tell you that I know my wife hates blue cheese, so I decided not to surprise her with that little one. Interestingly enough, the dish had me use like half the onions that I cut up, and it said like you could use the remaining as like an optional thing, so that was what was left over. Generally I find, I guess to give you guys some idea of a couple other things, is that having a set of like these little tiny dishes where um, basically you've got bowls in various combination sizes, you will end up using quite a bit of dishes. Making the risotto with this one is a little bit of a challenge because you have to have boiling water and then constantly be adding to it. Um, I've done a few of their other dishes like that, but having all these like different sizes bowls, like this had the spinach in it. Um, I was boiling water in this one. Uh, this plate had, well, that, this wasn't a plate. This was the actual pan that I cooked the mushrooms and the steak in. 
And um, yeah, just having a cutting board and all these other things where right? you're going to have to obviously have some of this stuff. And then just having utensils, like I use this to mix the risotto and the spinach and onions and everything together. But um, overall, fairly an easy meal. This was one of the longer ones, but I wanted to show you guys the finished product. If you guys do decide to sign up for Home Chef, I will remind you, I'm gonna leave a link below in the description. You can actually get $30 off your first order, which I will tell you for um, at least the minimum of three meals. If you only spend 30 bucks, I can tell you it's definitely worth it. Of all the meals I've tried, there was even a few questionable ones where like, we had, uh, I think it was shrimp on pizza, like little pita bread with barbecue. And uh, my wife was like, oh my God, like, and it had come through on one of the orders. Um, it was like a mistake and I just forgot to change it out and she thought it was going to be terrible and it actually ended up being really good. So unless you're picky, you don't like fish or shrimp or whatever, you know, obviously you just got to keep an eye out for that stuff. But again, want to let you guys know, I'll leave a discount coupon below. Uh, if you use my link, you can actually save some money and I will get some money off my next meal purchase. So I definitely appreciate if you decide to do that. If you guys have any questions for me about this, as you saw, I've been going through and using these meals for some time now. So any questions, leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video.